The astronauts who have spent the last nine months aboard the International Space Station are going to have to wait a few more days to begin the return leg of their journey. That's because yesterday's SpaceX launch that would have paved the way for their homecoming was scrubbed at the very last minute. Joining me now is CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. Uh, so, uh, Bill, just for our viewers to understand, why was the launch called off yesterday? Yeah, you know, it's kind of frustrating. They were down around 45 minutes before takeoff uh, when the engineers noticed a problem with these clamp arms. They fit up around the top of the rocket, and as the countdown ticks down, they pull away, and that allows the rocket to be free of its support tower so it can take off. They had some readings in the hydraulic system where they couldn't verify that they would pull all the way back, so they decided they had to do some more troubleshooting. You know, yesterday might have been an option, but they're predicting high winds this evening, uh, so they reset it for Friday night uh, when the weather's supposed to be good, and hopefully the problem will be resolved. I mean, after nine months, what's a few more days? Uh, let me ask you about these images that we're Absolutely. getting from, yeah, uh, from the European Space Agency's latest flyby of Mars. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, you know, it's really cool. I mean, there is science in it, but really this was a flyby of Mars by ESA's uh, Hera spacecraft. The, that spacecraft is on its way to an asteroid to do some close-up inspection. This is an asteroid that NASA hit with a spacecraft a couple of years ago. You might remember that and actually changed its orbit very slightly. Hera's going to go investigate that and see exactly what that impact did. But to get there, they had to fly by Mars very close uh, for a gravity assist. They used the gravity of Mars to speed it up. And while they were doing that, they got some spectacular shots of not only of Mars, but of the little moon Deimos, which, you know, may be a captured asteroid. It could be a fragment that was blown off the surface of Mars by an impact, you know, billions of years ago. Uh, but it's really cool to see this tiny little moon orbiting above Mars from such close range. It's very cool. Uh, Bill Harwood, always great to have you, my friend. Uh, I'm sure we'll be checking in with you on Friday when that launch, if it happens, uh, takes place. Thanks, Bill. Sounds good.